Flies are nice and friendly, which is great. You know, it's just good to have a bit of company around here in the middle of nowhere. Oh, look at all this. This is all perfect. Get a bit of tinder. It's a lot of fire. <laughs> Got some of this stuff right here. That's the good stuff. Bit of wood over here, eh, Strider? Ah! Is that? <laughs> oh, it's starting to come together. Now I need some big sticks, some big fatties. Where am I going to find them? Whoa, look at this guy. He wants to be my friend. Well, where, you... <laughs> where the hell did it go? It's on my butt. Oh, it's on my back. Hello. Let's go find some firewood and make ourselves a fire. I'm not gonna get excited yet. Yes, I am. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> oh, it's all coming to get me out in a strata. Basically what I did there is I just separated it into my stick piles. I've got the tinder, which is the igniter, which is gonna make it go <laughs> at the start. I'm gonna get my flint onto that. And then from there, I'll chuck my little tiny pile of sticks on there. That'll make it go up a bit more. And then I'll work my way to my medium sticks and I got my heavier stuff. And then I got my big bad boy over here. Yes. What you doing Strider? I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> um, yeah, that sun's on its way down. It's gonna be absolutely banger. So. Let's get the let's get the flint out and the knife and see if I've still got it, baby. Whoo! Whoo! Oh my god, I got something in my foot. Let me sort this out first. Alright, so what I want to do is because I'm using this flint, I want to get the most deadest, coarsest, perfectest little tinder going on. So I like to grab this dead spin effects bush or whatever it is. I don't really know exactly what type of bush it is. And I just like to rub it together like this. And just create some friction, yes! It's the most action I've had in ages. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little bit too excited right now. Uh, I'm not even gonna pretend that I'm, I'm not even gonna hold back anymore. This is the shit. I've been waiting for six months to do this. I don't even know, probably more. Oh, this is what I live for. Down the beach, just me and Strider. Strider! Wait! and just making fire, living from the ocean. Oh, I can't even talk right now. Oh, there she is. Oh, I wonder if I've still got it, guys. I wonder if I've still got it. I was getting quite good at it. I only got this really crappy, really crappy setup. I need to buy myself a sick flint. But, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, guys, I've got everything I need ready. Oh. 
Oh, I've got a really good feeling about this. I should be able to get it in a couple of goes. Excitement is building, guys. Oh, that might have it. Oh, so close. Oh, I've got it. Oh, I've got it. Oh, oh my God. Guys, guys, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. Holy shit. We got fire, baby. Gotta feed the chickens. over there. Look at that guy. Let's go check him out. Try to look at pelican. Oh actually I know what I can do. I'll go gut that fish now and uh, I'll feed him the gut so he has a nice feed as well. He'll love that. Oh I gotta deal with this first. Oh sorry guys. I got ADHD and sometimes okay <laughs> I love this shit, man. <laughs> Look at that. All right, let's get this, uh, let's get this fish prepped. So we can chuck it straight on the hot coals. That should simmer away for a while. Oh, I can't remember what just happened. There's my little fella there. Hello, mate. Oh, nice and frozen. Look at that fire in the background over there. She's looking at me. She's making eyes. <laughs> Look, the pelican is here. The pelican is here. Can you guys see that? Look, I got a fish, mate! Yoo-hoo! What's this? What's this? Not you, Strider the Pelican. Oh, he won't be able to resist. How's this glass off, guys? I'll tell you what, if I'm quick enough and I get that fire roaring, I'll um, chuck this guy on the coals and I'll get that drone up. I haven't had the drone up in a, in a minute. So, it's all happening today. The tide's obviously gone out. This is why I launched down there, because if I was coming back right now, I couldn't really get the ski back up. Um, but yeah, it's all good. Okay, so with this guy, I'm just taking the guts out and uh, a few more nasty things, just so when I cook it whole, it, you know, if he's eating anything really bad or whatever, it can, can contaminate the meat, but very unlikely. Um, I don't know, just makes it cleaner. I like doing it. You don't have to, obviously. I don't, yeah, each to their own. So I just split him open there. But anyway, you get in there and you can take out the whole gut in one go. And then I'm gonna yeet it to this pelican because I want him to be my friend. Let's go do that. Yoo-hoo, pelican. Pelican! <clears throat> he's seen it. Oh, he's coming back. Yeah, I knew he couldn't resist the cheeky bugger. I bloody knew. I knew he was watching. They are actually so smart and they got the best eye, eyesight. So he knew exactly what I was doing and he played it like, oh, I can't see what Brody's doing. I'm swimming the other way. But he knew. As soon as, as soon as I threw that, he turned, he's coming straight at us. Straight up, go on. Don't you scare that pelican away. Go on. 
All right, let's get me fish back up to that fire. Oh, I can see it from here. <laughs> Nothing but a big puppy dog. <laughs> they can't help themselves. They're so cheeky. Ready? <clears throat> He's chasing away the seagull, look. <laughs> oh, we got it. Yeah! You Have yourself a great afternoon, Mr. Prelican. Enjoy that feed. Oh! He's happy. I'm happy. Strata's happy. I hope you guys are all happy. I got my fish. Let's go check on this fire. He's still chewing it. <laughs> he loves it. Nothing like a bit of fresh GT guts for a pelican's diet. Oh, it's definitely something sharp then. Look at that fire. Look at that fire, baby. Chuck that there for now. Beauty. Oh, couple of tools. Ah, it just hit my head. All right, this is starting to get a few coals here. Chuck a few more sticks on it and uh, she'll be bloody rare and soon. Pays to build up your fire just on the other side here. Right. Ooh, that's nice. If I can grab that. Oh, yeah. Put him there. Put him there. Put him there. Oh, that's just starting to, starting to make me so hungry, guys. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's just. That's just bloody beautiful. Nothing else to say about that. Just bloody beautiful. Okay guys, so there's a bit of a trick to how you put the, uh, the fish on the fire. What you gotta do is you just gotta chuck it a bit like that. There you go. Thank you, mate. I'll be back in 10 minutes to flip it. Mwah. What other jobs can I do? Might collect a bit more uh, firewood in case, in case it starts going out because I don't want that fish to not cook. Look how good that looks. Oh my god, look how beautiful it is out there. Shit, it's time to get the drone up, guys. Oh, all right, I gotta be quick. I would be up waiting for you if you had to leave. I would wait a lifetime if you were at sea. I just wanna say that I feel that our love is real. Warm. I just lifted that big log off for a bit just to cool the fire down a bit just flip this guy one more time and uh, it's gonna be more than cooked now 
I wonder if that's going to do anything. No, it should be right. Um, while that's getting the last five minutes, I'll just build that little fire up there and I'll go find myself a plate or something to put that fish on. Actually, I reckon that's about right now. So I'll just push him over to the side. Oh, I lost its tail. Burnt the tail off. Push him over there. And we'll get this thing started. Quite easy to do. There you go. Push it back down. You can snap now if you want. There we go. We'll right, sort that out. That'll just about do it right there, guys. Looks like a good plate to me. Okay guys, well, I feel like we've earned this. Get rid of that coal. It's stuck in there. How hot is it? A lot of you guys have been asking when the YBS Jacko dive knives are coming in. They are coming in hopefully in a couple of weeks. We'll let you guys know ASAP. With everything that's been happening around the world and coronavirus, we've had a bit of a delay, but we've got a heap of blades coming, so look out for them guys. If you are buying any merch or any gear, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all the support. But you guys don't have to. Just a like, comment, subscri subscribe. <laughs> wow. Oh, my God. It. I have absolutely bloody nailed this, guys. I. Uh, wow. 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 to the point of perfection. Oh, I am having a great feed today. Oh, wow. Uh, it's still hot. Just trying to get some of this flash up for myself there on my dive knife. Ah! Woo! 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 Ladies and gentlemen, that is as fresh as you get. These guys know. These guys know. Look at this. Look at that. I have cooked that so perfect. <laughs> well, you know I gotta do it. I have to thank you guys so much for all your support. I know times like these when sun's setting, I'm sitting by the fire doing my favorite thing, my best friend. I do it all the time, but honestly, literally, without you guys supporting us, we would not be out here right now. We'd still be probably back in there. So, thank you. You went
try some strata? <laughs> you want to try some? Let's get some for Ed. Just using my hands now. Some of this cool stuff. All right, Strider. Where can I put this for you? Um, put this on this little rock here for you, Strider. There you go. <laughs> How was that? Huh? Plenty more to come. Plenty more for the both of us. It's a bit hot. Sorry, guys. I, I'm actually so hungry. Like, I haven't eaten all day. Yeah, come here. Here, you want this? Come on. Come here. You. Want some more? It's a bit hot. I just have to cool some down for you, eh? Oh, it's very hot, Strider. Sorry. Should be able to. When I've done this side, I should be able to grab the spine there and uh, pull off all the meat on my little rock here. Can't believe that wind hasn't come in yet. It will come in. I, I want it to come in right now. Because it'll get rid of all the. Uh, well, the flies are all buggered off with the, with the sun anyway, but it'll get rid of. Uh, the temperature, it'll make it so nice and bloody cool for when we sleep tonight. So my plan is, I don't really know if I'll do much tonight, unless I can't sleep, and I think uh, in another couple of hours it'll be super low tide, and it'll be dark, so we might go for a rock tide explore. Um, it depends. It depends. I reckon if that wind comes in, and it becomes nice and cool, I'll sleep like a little baby. Alright, this. Oh yeah, I got this. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep the uh, frame just in case. Okay, that's really hot. I don't know. Look at that, guys. That's all meat. Straight off. No bones, no nothing. Straight on my plate there. Let that cool down a bit, actually. And then we should be able to wolf that back. Oh, there's a few bones there I'll get rid of. Around those bones there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. -mm. And that is all good to go. So we got half each there, Strutter. So we'll let that cool a bit. I might eat my half because. Look at this face. I'll give her a bit more than a half. <clears throat> Here you go. Morning. Chew it. <laughs> Here you go, sweetie. Good girl. This will uh, this will definitely get us through tomorrow, won't it? No worries at all. Last little bit, look at that. Nice and crispy. And that's the leftovers there. Fire's still going. Roll my swag out. I'm just gonna go down to the uh, to the water there and wash my face and wash my hands and stuff like that. And I'll be back guys and we'll, we'll just go from there. It's almost dark, you probably, but the one thing I need to sort out is like a night camera because the GoPros are great and all, but they're not amazing for night time. So, um, all right, let me go wash up. What a great feed. <sighs> Man, I did not realize how much sand and stuff I had on my face until I just had a wash just then. I hope I didn't look like an idiot the whole time. I completely forgot that I did that face plant slug thing when I got excited, like completely. I just remembered when I was washing my face, I was like, oh shit. Oh my God. But yeah, I'm feeling really refreshed. And that wind is starting to feather now. So I'm in for a beautiful night. The bugs are pretty much almost gone. Might arc this fire up. Oh, I don't even know if you can see me in the GoPro anymore, actually. It's probably pitch black. All right, time to chill out. 
roll the swag out and I might see you guys in a couple of hours when it's low tide or I'll see you first thing tomorrow morning and we'll continue on our venture from there. All right, see you guys. Good morning, everyone. Well, I forgot my pillow and my blanket last night, but I used towels and it was actually super comfy sleep. That wind did pick up not long after the sun went down. Oh, I had a little tiny sleep in. It's a bit overcast this morning. A little bit breezy. Strutter. Whee! Hello. Hello, sweetie. Good morning. Hello. Come on. Come in. Come on. Oh. Come on. Go on. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You want to come in? Come on in. Come on in. Good girl. Hello. Hello, Whippy. Come on. Good girl. Hello. Hello. Oh, look how much sand you bring in. That's nice. Thank you. Strider sleeps in with me at, during the night. I let her out earlier this morning. As soon as the sun comes up, she just wants to go out and explore. But during the night, she just sleeps down in there or next to me. It's heaps of room. Oh, ho, ho, big yawn. First thing I normally do in the morning, where's my phone, is just look at the weather, just to see what me and Strider are gonna do today. But it's um, actually not as windy as what I thought it was gonna be. What are you doing, Strider? Go. <laughs> Get them flies. Stay up, do flies. <sighs> oh man. Okay, so about midday, it's going to be absolutely beautiful, but in a different spot. So. This morning we'll just cruise for a couple of hours, maybe go for a beach drive, maybe pick up some rubbish or something like that, pack up camp slowly, and um, we'll go drop in at another spot on the other side, go for a cruise, see what we can find. Look how much sand's trying to let in. Oh. Man, there's nothing really better than waking up on the beach, especially when the weather's cool. Like, in summer, I struggle to camp. It's like, you're waking up to like 45 degrees. And even the flies aren't too bad. Sometimes the flies are just like, murderous. But yeah. I'm a little bit tired, I guess. But I'm not too bad, actually, today. Pretty good. Go on. Go on. Ah! Oh. Ah! <laughs> Man, let's go check um, this frame that I left out to see if there's any uh, hermit crabs. Look at all the hermit crab tracks around the frame. <laughs> they had a mad feed tonight. Uh, last night, sorry. Oh, it's, it's early in the morning, I can't concentrate. Oh, the flies are already so friendly. God damn it. <laughs> Ow. Pretty cool. Well. Whew. Hey, Strider. Hello. Good deal. What you want to do? Oh. Okay. Okay. So I've been thinking, I want to get myself a new car. It doesn't have to be super, super flash or whatever. I just want to sort of upgrade the old Parado here. I want something maybe like a Land Cruiser Ute so I can put the big camp set up on the back and like sleep on top of the roof or, or inside the car. And this is a petrol, I want a diesel. So let me know what sort of car you guys reckon I should get. Obviously I should stick to Toyota, right? Leave a comment down below and um, yeah, I really want a new car, I think just so I can camp like this really easy.
Ah. It's so much easier <laughs> taking everything down than putting everything up. Ah. Well, I'm one of those guys that sort of just chuck it in the back and either pack it up when they get home later or I might still use it like I got excuse me I got no real plan later on so I might end up put the shade back out of the rolling the swag out this afternoon I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen just gonna clean up my fireplace uh what's Strider doing round up Strider hop in the car and go for a cruise along the beach and uh head towards our next destination and go for a bit of a spin hopefully it's nice and calm over the other side maybe try and get rid of get escape some of these damn flies let's go see what strider's up to what are you doing strides huh playing around your tree looking for lizards huh what are you doing okay okay fair enough here she comes. Oh, new boarders, guys. Check them out. This is the fish scale design. There's another four designs that we're trialing out. These are only samples, but they are so close. So I thought I'd let you guys know that we're very, very close. And keep your eyes open for these. What do you reckon about that, Strider? Well, guys, me and Strider just quickly come down the other side here. We drop the ski in. On the way here, I stopped past the post office because my mum called me and told me that there's something special there. Rocked up and the board short samples have come here. Check them out. This is one of five designs at the moment we got going on. They're only samples, but they are amazing. And I'm pretty much so happy. So these guys should be available soon. Just hang in there. I just wanted to let you guys know that we've been working behind the scenes on board shots. I've seen a few comments and emails and DMs about board shorts. So they are on their way. Anyway, the plan is from now on is that me and Strider don't have a plan. Just like normal. There's no worries. It's actually so beautiful out here. Bit of overcast. It's a little bit overcast, a bit of a breeze. Uh, the water actually looks quite clear. So we might go see what happens, see what we can find. Strider's frothing. Look how beautiful that is, huh? Just about to go chuck a lure around and I forgot I got spanked yesterday on that big GT so I gotta rig up Black Beauty again. Got my little tackle box full of lures. I'll pick a sticky or something, rig her up and we'll uh, get straight out there and see if we can chuck a lure around and catch a fish. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay guys, some uh, really great news. I just went, to, I just rigged up Black Beauty here and went to grab her and wind her up and uh, yeah, the handle's fallen off. Oh, I got something! Oh! Jesus! What the hell is this? Holy shit! Whoo! Oh, it's a beautiful blue spot Trevally. Man, that hit it so hard! Holy dooly! Woo! Strutty! These are such a beautiful fish. Whoa! Lots of energy, lots of go in him. Whoa, hello, little fella. Okay, okay, I'm gonna get you back in the drink. Look at the blue spots on him, beautiful little blue spot trevally. The colors are absolutely amazing in these little guys. They love the. I'll get him in the water. See you, mate. Yep. He's off. They love the surf. They love cruising like ledgy areas right amongst the surf where the bait fish get washed up and disorientated. Same as a lot of other big trevallies and other predators like that. Wherever they can find an easy, there's a huge trevally right there. Huge trevally, guys. Oh, 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 o
some of the pressure. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're right there. They're right there. Oh no! That's about all she wrote for us today, I reckon. Marine Strider's gonna go for a swim now and a cruise. Obviously, if I find anything along the way back to where we launched, I'll let you guys know. But if not, I'll see you guys in a couple of days. The weather's starting to line up a little bit better uh, after the weekend, so we'll get out there and do something. Whew. Cheers, guys. Thank you for everything. All the support, all the love, likes, comments. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications. I'll see you guys soon. Strider, anything you'd like to add? Okay. <laughs>